Hey guys, so it's been a while since we did a best iPhone accessories video. Obviously, brands are never sitting still and products have been hitting our PO box. Some of them are definitely worth sharing, so I rounded up some of my favorites. Let's ramble. Hold up, things go well when I pull up. They all on me like at once. Hey, what's up guys? So yeah, the iPhone, it's a great phone, but it's getting a bit stale. Nothing really groundbreaking has been introduced for quite some time now. And so one of the ways we can keep it a bit more interesting is by finding cool little accessories to make it a little more useful, a little more fun to use. I put together a list of some of the accessories I'm currently using. Some of them will be staples, stuff I've been using for a while and probably will continue to do so. And some of them are brand new products or even new tech that I just wanted to share with you guys. So starting off with some of the staples, two products that in my opinion really should be used with the iPhone. You know, without these products, I feel like the iPhone is missing a limb or something. The first one being my trusty old AirPods Pro 2s. I absolutely love these things. I do own the AirPods Max as well, but I use these way more often. I use them to make calls, listen to music. I use them at the gym, and sometimes I even prefer using them on airplanes over the Maxes. So these are probably my most used iPhone accessory, full stop. I did have them engraved by Apple, but I'm not even sure why I did that to be honest, because I always put a case on my AirPods. This is a leather one by Woolnut, which happens to be one of my favorite accessories brands. They make all kinds of cases for the iPhone, iPads, MacBooks, you name it. Mostly leather and always top-notch quality. One thing I have noticed about the AirPods Pro since like the last update is that the noise canceling has gotten progressively worse somehow. It used to be rock solid, but now I feel like I can hear a lot more noise even when full noise canceling is on. I'd be really curious to hear if you're using these things, if you've noticed anything similar. Please let me know in the comments. Anyway, an absolute staple. I never leave the house without these. The second accessory that is just part of the iPhone, in my opinion, is the Apple Watch. I'm using the first gen Apple Watch Ultra, but it doesn't really matter which model. The Apple Watch is an extension of my phone. I can take calls on this thing, find my iPhone really quick when I've misplaced it, which happens a lot. But for me, the most useful feature is to see incoming calls and messages. The sound on my iPhone is off 100% of the time. I hate being interrupted by messaging tones all day. I don't like the ringtones. I don't wanna hear it. So it's off day and night. Getting a little vibration on my wrist instead feels way less intrusive to me and I'm not bothering anyone around me. I love being able to switch out the bands to keep the watch interesting. Nomad recently sent me one of their new bands. This color is called Nightwatch Red and I'm digging it. It's a super funky color. It's not something I would wear every day, but sometimes I just feel like wearing a flashy band and this one definitely hits the spot. Shout out to Nomad for sending me this. They make really great bands, both classy ones and sporty ones, so I can use it at the gym like this one. Now the challenge in using this holy trinity of products is to keep it all charged. Rather than charging them separately, cluttering up my space, I like to keep it all central and use a three-in-one charger. The problem with those is that they often don't look great and my Apple Watch Ultra requires more juice than a regular Apple Watch to get a fast charge and most multi-chargers include only a three-watt Apple charger. This one by Aki eliminates that. And thank you very much to Aki for agreeing to sponsor this video. This is the MagFusion 3-in-1, and it's definitely got the looks. A beautiful, sleek design. I love the subtle branding on the side, as well as the recurring lightning bolt on the charging pads. A partial metal build with the tempered glass on the pad make it look and feel really premium. And as it turns out, I'm not the only one admiring the looks of this thing because the MagFusion 3-in-1 has actually won the IF Design Award 2024. Now, Aki has been around for a while creating reliable power and charging products, but for me, they really hit the nail on the head with this one. Like I said, a big plus for me is that the watch charger, which is MFW, made for watch certified, if you use counterfeit or uncertified chargers, you might experience slow charging, repeated beeps, reduced battery life, all of that bad stuff. This one offers five watt charging, meaning I can give my Apple Watch Ultra a proper fast charge, and it really does make a huge difference. To give you an example, it will charge the Apple Watch 7 and up, so including this one, from zero to 60 in just half an hour. In that same time, a three watt charger, which is what you'll find on most three-in-ones, will only give you a 20% charge. 
The same is true for the Qi 2 certified phone charger, feeding my iPhone 15 Pro with 15 watts of power, which means it will top it up by 20% in 15 minutes, which is 65% faster than a regular Qi charger. It has a 30 degrees adjustable viewing angle, which is super useful for calls or watching content. It has a very strong magnet, and of course you can make perfect use of this thing to display the iPhone standby mode. It is super sturdy, looks great on my desk, and because the Apple Watch is positioned behind the phone on a solid part of the charger, there's no wobble whatsoever. AirPods Pro go underneath the phone with plenty of room to spare. Absolute winner in my book. If you wanna check it out for yourself, there's a link in the description. Next up is this little guy. This is the plot note, and what can I say? This guy actually deserves its own video, but I really wanted to mention it here because it's such a useful little thing that comes with its own MagSafe wallet, making this a perfect accessory for the iPhone. In a nutshell, the plot note is actually the world's first chat GPT powered AI voice recorder. This ultra slim, ultra light, and ultra premium looking device is not just a voice recorder, but it's an all-in-one AI assistant. To start recording, you just long press and it will buzz once, stop recording, long press it again, it'll buzz twice so you know when it's stopped. Not only will it record and transcribe entire meetings and conversations for you, but it will actually create a comprehensive and astoundingly accurate summary for you as well. It'll even create a mind map for those of you who are ultra organized, all analyzed by ChatGPT. Imagine impressing your clients by sending them a summary of your meeting just minutes after it actually took place. By flipping the switch up, the plot note turns into a call recorder where it uses its internal vibration mic to record both sides of the call. So it can hear you, but it also hears the other person. How you doing, you all right? Uh, good, good. I just, uh, I wanted to test this plot note thing. Oh yeah? And uh, I hope I put it in the right setting because it's the first time I'm making a call with it. It gives you a transcription, but it also gives you a summary. And if it reads the meaning correctly, you even get like a list of action items. So if I'm gonna say right now, so I'll call you next Monday. Right. Theoretically, that should show up in the uh, uh, in action item, so we'll have to see. <laughs> Don't worry about that. I'll call you on Tuesday at 4 p.m. That should also <laughs> <laughs> confuse it. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, let's see if it oh. worked. My iPhone will pull the audio files whenever it's near the device, and the companion app will give me access to its full set of features. Now, because the plot note is so thin and the MagSafe connection on the included pouch works so well, I just leave it on my iPhone. So the recorder is always ready to go. There are so many use cases for this thing. And of course you could ask yourself, why not just use the voice recorder on the iPhone? Well, that doesn't do all the AI stuff this one does. And it certainly doesn't transcribe your phone calls. I've only started using it a couple of weeks ago myself, but it's been super useful so far. And I can't wait to see where this technology goes in the future. Next up, a bit of protection. I do switch out my phone cases a lot, but currently I'm enjoying this blue leather case by Andar. I think it complements the midnight color on the iPhone quite nicely. According to their website, this is full grain oil wax leather. I'll take their word for it. All I know is it feels nice and it looks great. And the thing with leather cases is that they look better over time, or at least I think so. Even when they're dinged up a little bit like this one. You see, it's got this little dent on the side from where I dropped it. I don't mind at all. It's totally fine for leather to look a bit rough. The camera bumps metal, so are the buttons, and that includes the action button. I've had to ditch a few really nice cases just because the brand decided to put a cutout where the action button is instead of an actual button, and that just doesn't work. It's in there too deep. All in all, great case, can recommend. Now, I know a lot of people that like to rock their iPhone naked. I can't blame them. These are beautiful looking phones, but if you're gonna be that brave, at least put something on it when you carry it in your pocket or in a bag. You don't want your keys or your coins scratching it all up. If you're one of those people, I can highly recommend this sleeve by Harbor London. I have featured this brand numerous times on the channel because I do like leather and they make some of the nicest leather accessories for Apple devices that I know of. This thing is no exception. Super simple, elegant design with this little pull tab. And the best part is that it's spacious enough to include something like the plot note as well. Now, this next accessory is for my fellow video nerds. We all know the cameras on these smartphones have been getting better and better, but since the iPhone has ProRes RAW, I actually find myself using it for videos way more when I'm out and about. It's just so convenient and the quality is really good enough to use it in some of my YouTube videos. Of course, the audio on these phones will never even come close to a proper mic since the internal mics are just too small. 
That's where this DJI Mic 2 comes in. I won't bore you with too many details since this isn't a camera channel, but I do want to show you how well DJI thought about integrating this with the iPhone. It even comes with a special attachment, both USB-C and Lightning, in case you're on an earlier model of the iPhone. So you can connect the receiver directly to the iPhone, making this a super low threshold plug and play solution to infinitely improve your audio. Of course, it works with my actual cameras as well, this travels with me wherever I go. I cannot recommend this product enough. Speaking of travel, this is another one of those things I keep in my bag permanently. These are the X-Real Air AR glasses. I know there are newer models out there already, but these work just fine for me. They basically just turn my iPhone into a massive screen, which is great for gaming, but also for watching a movie on a plane or a train or anywhere, really. No need to charge these, by the way. You just plug them in your iPhone and enjoy the big screen. I did do a dedicated video on these a while back, so you can check that out if you'd like more details. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give one of these. It really does help the channel. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for some links to videos you might also wanna watch.